it's now on to uh, part two, which is, um, you know, my inspirations as a writer. So, um, you know, who am I looking to? What kind of work am I looking to? So uh, I've been a huge fan pretty much since I got into comics. I gravitated towards people like uh, Jeff Johns, early Jeff Johns, you know, like Hawkman, Green Lantern, uh, Robert Venditti was someone I'd, well, Robert Venditti, I started to like sort of later on. Um, I wasn't in love with his um, New 52 stuff, you know, like Flash, but um, by the time we got around to Hawkman and Green Lantern Corps and Superman 78, I pretty really enjoyed that stuff quite a lot. He's actually probably my favorite DC writer at the moment. Um, I wish they give him more work, but um, uh, Peter Massey as well. I think Peter Massey did a great Batman The Outsiders, and I think I also think Peter Massey's Detective Comics run is probably the best modern Batman comic run that we have. Uh, probably, yeah, I'd probably put him on, on par with like eight is Batman, you know, when um, O'Neill and Adams were on that book. Also, that's the seven is probably seven is, and then you had Jim Starlin come on and John Wagner and Alan Grant, all those guys. Um, but going back, you know, I think it's good for any comic book fan to work their way backwards and see which, um, you know, whether an older era spoke to them more. And so for me, it's been. I really enjoy reading the Bronze Age, um, but I also really enjoy comic books that are kind of inspired by the Golden Age. So not necessarily comics from the Golden Age, but comics that were callbacks to the Golden Age, you know, like Jeff Johns on JSA. And uh, anytime they do something with challenges of the unknown, I think that's just that's just a lot of fun. Um, but also Bron uh, Bronze Age Marvel as well. So Steve Gerber's Man Thing, Jack Kirby stuff, uh, Lem Wing on one thing Jerry Conway on I don't mean it's one thing was DC but Jerry Conway on Tomb of Dracula and and uh, Moon Knight all that stuff I think is just it's just perfect and um, it was actually Len Wein's one thing that really got me into all the comics because when I got in I was kind of under the assumption that you know kind of like with films you know you just kind of assume that if you're young then you're not going to enjoy the older stuff as much but got really into Len Wein and figured out that um yeah, then wing then wing comics are actually fantastic and so that kind of opened my mind up to the older comics and i think buying comics in trade paperback you know if it's an older comic from like the 70s or the 80s i think buying it trade paperback just makes it easier to read because you don't have this yellowed paper and it's just really nice colored and so i got all the stuff in uh, trade paperbacks and omnibuses and made the bronze age a lot more enjoyable for me um, and so I wound up getting into things like New Gods and Commanding, and going back even further, things like Adam Strange, classic Green Lantern, um, stories that were kind of fantastical adventures as much as they were hero stories. Um, but then I kind of moved on to the 1990s because, you know, the 90s had a terrible reputation, and I think deservedly so in a lot of cases. But um, if you look at the indies of the 1990s, so if you look at Dark Horse's license stuff, so, you know, like Indiana Jones and Tarzan, that just showed me just how great these adventure comics could be. And they weren't superhero stories, they were just adventure. And that was really what I was looking for, but I still like these superhero comics as well. And my brain started to kind of think, what would it look like if um, you know all these heroes, you know, Doc Savage, Flash Gordon, Rocketeer, Indiana Jones, what if they came onto a superhero team? And that definitely went into the Unbreakable Argonauts as an inspiration. So I think when you look at it, you're going to kind of, you know, you're going to get these kind of callbacks to older heroes and, you know, homages to those kinds of stories. And I think that, um, I think it's really going to work. I think mixing adventure with superheroes just on a, you know, on a basic level, I think it's just a perfect match. Um, 